Shabbat Shalom. There was such a sense of peace and comfort in this kahal, in this congregation this evening, which is apropos because tonight, this Shabbat, as we contemplate Parshat Breshit, the story of the creation of the universe and our world and our people and our community, there was at many moments peace and quiet, and then there wasn't. There was the tohu vabohu, there was the chaos of creation. Some might call it a big bang, different building, different conversation. But the Kabbalists also imagine the creation to be filled with immense power. They taught that as God contracted God's self in an act of tzimtzum to create a finite space, in the infiniteness of the Holy One with which our universe would be filled. And when God infused God's light into that space, into a vessel to hold it, that vessel shattered, unable to contain the might and power of the Holy One. And so in the vision of the Kabbalists, from the moment we were put on this earth, there was brokenness around us. And our task was to fix it, to repair it, to bring healing, and as they called it, tikkun, tikkun olam. And as you look at the narrative of Parshat Breshit, the experience of our ancestors, they also experienced brokenness and pain throughout the story. Adam and Eve were banished from the garden. No longer could they live the easy life, the life of perfection with all of their needs met. They had to go and work the land Childbirth became a difficult undertaking, unless, of course, you have Barbara Harper, and then it's very easy. Their children fought, and one killed the other. Pain infected the family. In some ways, from the very beginning of our existence, we have learned that the need for healing is part of the human condition. And so, we lean on each other. We take care of our families and friends and our community. Rabbi Mates, the story you shared about the entire university in Gainesville coming together to heal not just Tom Petty's family, though I'm sure they appreciated the gesture, but to heal each other, to hold each other up. Now, unfortunately, as you read the continuation of the story in the book of Genesis, and into Exodus, into Leviticus, and Numbers, and Deuteronomy, things get more difficult before they get better. The generations that came after Adam and Eve, the generation of Noah was one that also was in need of healing. The generation of Abraham and Sarah, and Hagar and Ishmael, and Isaac needed healing. The generation of Isaac and Rebekah and Jacob and Esau needed healing. The generation of Joseph and his brothers needed healing. Healing is a part of who we are because, unfortunately, pain and suffering and brokenness are a part of the human condition. But we choose not to despair. We choose to say that life is worth it even with the pain. That we will use our time here on earth to address the pains that we have by creating moments of joy and happiness and celebration. During Sukkot last week, some of us learned together about the story of Ecclesiastes and Havel Havel Hakol Havalim, that everything is futile, the book of Ecclesiastes begin. And in a teaching from Rabbi Lord Jonathan Sachs, he pointed out that that same word, utter futility, Havel, is also the name of Abel, that child that was killed. The antidote to the notion that everything is futile, Rabbi Sachs says, the book of Ecclesiastes teaches, is that throughout the life, we should pursue moments of satisfaction, pursue moments of celebration, pursue moments and build joy. It's the only reason why we're here. That the joy of being put on this earth is that we get to feel. While we may feel pain, we also can feel love. While we may feel pain, we can also feel compassion and companionship. And so tonight, as we begin our journey through Torah once again, 
We know how the story is going to go. We know that the, where the journey will take us. But it ends on the border of ultimate happiness, entering into the promised land. So my blessing and my prayer for us this evening as we begin our study of Torah once again is that this year we can use this round trip, this trip through the Torah once again to think about how can this year, in this study, in this community, how can we pursue joy and wholeness and peace together? Amen. I